Hello everybody. It's Jennifer again from Weborn's Nursery. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's Sunday evening time and my family and I just got back from watching um, Avengers Endgame not so long ago. My husband, my son, my youngest son and I uh, went to see that and it was really good. Some good family time. Um, I've got uh, Kelsey here and she's my one of my Paradise Gallery Styles. Um, she is one of the, let's see, she was my first reborn, uh, using that term kind of loosely, um, doll that I got. And so I have her here today. One of the reasons um, I decided to pick her today was I was watching a video by um, Lynn from Littlefoot Nursery and she had a video up talking about um, do you ever get in a rut um, while collecting your reborns or your silicones um, do you ever feel like you've kind of lost the passion for it um, and as I was listening to her <clears throat> I was thinking of some, some different things that I might do if I felt like I was in a rut or kind of losing that passion um, just first of all, I don't feel like I'm losing that passion yet, and I'm a fairly new collector. I think she's been collecting a lot longer, uh, than I have, and I think she was even into collecting dolls like years and years ago before she got into, um, doing reborns and silicones, um, like American dolls, and I know she's interested in some other types of dolls too that she, um, also kind of collects. Um, so I don't think I'm quite in that boat yet. I just started collecting in November of 2018. Um, and it's, you know, obviously it's almost the end of April. So that hasn't been all that long. And I got both my Paradise Gallery styles. Um, the other one is Baby May and she's my, um, Jade doll. And I got both of them in like November-ish. Um, and then I didn't get any other dolls until I believe it was February. So there was a little span of time in there. And I kind of was waiting to see if, you know, I really felt the interest and I really wanted to go kind of that next level and either get more of a realistic newborn and go like on eBay or go on Facebook or go to Dow Fan. And I just kind of myself started exploring and, and kind of getting to know uh, <clears throat> some more of the YouTubers that do reborn channels. So I started watching those and then getting more familiar. I'd go on to Dow Fan and I met some people on there. Um, just briefly and just kind of checking things out seeing which dolls were popular and which ones I liked which ones you know that kind of made me feel like me and I would really like to have that doll so um, <clears throat> although I'm not in that right right now um, one of the things I think I would do and I think I've heard other people say this too is that um, to take one of your dolls and if you normally think of them as a girl or dress them as a girl to do the opposite dress them as a boy and see if that kind of makes things seem a little bit more exciting a little bit more new um, and makes you kind of get that interest back a little bit so today I am going to try to dress Sue Lynn as a boy now the funny thing is when I first got her and showed her to my mom and my sister, I believe they both thought she was a boy and I had her dressed in girl clothes or clothes that looked mostly girlish. So I thought that was kind of strange. Like they thought, I guess the face maybe looked, you know, a little bit like a boy. Um, and they both made the comment that this baby kind of looks like my younger son when he was a baby. Um, my younger son had a nice little round head. I mean, j the cheeks and just the little mouth and stuff. It kind of, kind of does look like him a little bit. Um, the eyelashes are longer on this style. So it kind of made me, you know, and it was advertised as a girl. So I just kept 
her as a girl and named her Kelsey. But we're going to try to see if we can dress her as a boy and see how that would look and just also see if that would, you know, make things a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting, just change things up, make it, make it new. So that's what I'm going to do here. And this out, the first outfit that I picked actually, um, no, I'm going to do the more boyish one. There's another outfit that I was going to try on also. Um, <clears throat> but let's do this one first because it's a little bit more boyish. And she does have brown eyes, so I should have probably picked something more neutral, but brown and blue look good together. So this is a little romper by Child of Mine. It's a Carter's Child of Mine. And it has little dinosaurs on it um, and it's got cactus and it's got a little pocket in the front it has um, three buttons in the front short sleeve um, let's see and it is kind of dark blue around the neck and on the pockets there a little bit and then it's got light blue for the body part um, the reason I'm describing it in such detail is there was someone that came on my channel and I can't remember if she subscribed to me, um, but she has some vision impairment and she actually said, told me that she liked how I described the clothing. So, you know, if there's any way that I can, you know, make this channel um, interesting and open to a wider audience. That's what I definitely want to do. So I hope she's still watching and I hope that, um, you know, I will be able to provide some good visual cues for her and description so that she can watch this channel too. So here I've got the little outfit on. All right, we're going to button this up. I did not put a onesie underneath, but I think that'll be okay. And this is a newborn size romper. So, which I think for um, the style works the best. Oh, maybe I did need a, a little onesie underneath because it kind of shows the little body underneath. Okay, let me show you what... Oh my gosh, okay. So this is what uh, Kelsey looks like dressed as a boy in the little dinosaurs and cactus and the little blue color and stuff. So, I mean, I could see it. I can def definitely see it. It's, she's got such a cute face. Um, I think she probably could do either. Let me look at her a second. Or him. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think probably that would, I mean, that would work. And some baby boys have really long eyelashes. So, I mean, I think that would, this could definitely work. I'm going to try to do this for a little while just to mix things up. And just to try something new. So that would be one of the first things I would do if things were getting... A little stale or I was feeling like uh, my passion for um, collecting and and having the dolls that I had um, was getting a little old I would you know maybe switch it up like this and I could see how this would be fun you know it, it makes it a little bit newer it's like oh I've got a new boy baby um, so that's kind of cool um, another thing I might do is if I have the money and there is a actual doll out there that I really want, I think there's nothing better than having a box opening. You know, just having a new box opening uh, just seems to get my passion going and it makes me even more excited. Now, you probably wouldn't want to do that if you're like, you don't really have one that you're excited about, a doll that's not really tugging at you. I wouldn't just buy one just to buy one. But if there is one out there and you're like, oh, I haven't, you know, kind of bought one for a while, maybe that's the reason that you're not so excited or the passion's not there is you haven't, you know, 
there, there's one that you want, but you haven't followed through with that. So that could be another thing because I think box openings are so exciting. It's like Christmas and birthdays all together. And there's nothing better than when I just open up that box and I see, you know, a brand new baby in there. And especially if you get other surprises, if you get little clothes and maybe some little diapers, sometimes they send a pacifier, some little slippers, you know, it makes it exciting. And then you've got a new doll to kind of work in with your collection and spend some new time on. So I think that's really fun. Um, a third thing would be to maybe go out and spend some time uh, shopping for clothes. And I think, you know, maybe sometimes you get tired of the same old clothes or dressing them in things that, you know, you've already switched around from doll to doll. So this week or Friday, I went garage sailing. And garage sailing is an awesome way because you can get things for low prices and you can get, um, you know, maybe things that you wouldn't find normally. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of the things that I found at the garage sale. I thought this was really, really cute. It's a little zip up and it's got a little elephant on it with a yellow ear. Elephant is gray and then it's got yellow and gosh, I don't know what color to call this. It's not peach. It's kind of a, it's not even red, orangey red. Um, and then it, the ear of the elephant is yellow with white polka dots. And it's a zip up with two little pockets in the front and it is made by, get the sticker off, Carter's. So that is one little cute thing that I got that for a dollar. And then I've got a bunch of onesies. I just love onesies, just be able to put onesies on a baby. It's so easy. And then the spring and summer, you know, just putting a onesie. So I've got, I think most of the stuff, well, this is Bon Baby. On baby, I think it's called, but it's a teal onesie with a big white heart outlined in kind of gray scallops uh, with gray, dark pink, and teal hearts. The main onesie is like a teal color, and then the heart that's on the front has a smaller pink heart, uh, dark pink heart with a lighter pink heart inside and then dotted um, white inside the small pink cart. So that one's really cute, a dollar. And then I heard some guy, some of you guys talking about these Burt's, Bee, Burt's Bees baby uh, clothes, and they're really soft. And this was a dollar. These were all basically a dollar. Um, but this is a newborn size, and it's kind of like a pale pink and gray stripes horizontal uh, snap at the bottom and it's a long sleeve and I got two of those just something real easy to wear with or without pants then I got a long sleeve onesie that says lovable on the front on a purple little piece of material with two little flowers and the onesie is long sleeve with it's white with purple polka dots. So I'm just thinking of these, you know, on a cool evening or, <clears throat> you know, using them for with a little pair of pants or something. This one is really cute. It's a teal, kind of real pale teal um, onesie, and it has three cupcakes on the front. Under the first cupcake, it says daddy's. Under the second, sweet. And under the third cupcake, it says girl. So daddy, sweet, girl. And that is also a Carter's. I got that for a dollar. It said two dollars, but I, I finagled a little bit. So that's really cute. I got that. And then I got this other Carter's. They must have loved Carter's. This Carter's right here. Now this one I got in a three month because I think it will fit. Um, well, it would probably fit a little big on some of the girls. But definitely, I think we would be okay on <clears throat> Brooklyn because she's a little bit longer. But it is a blue and white stripe horizontal with a big white um, heart on the front, sparkly, 
and then inside the heart it says cutie in dark blue and it's got a little bow at the neck in the front just thought that would look really really cute and then the last thing I got is by Petite Bateau or Bateau, Bateau. and it says it's a one month size and it is gray and white stripe, um, thick stripes, button down all in the front, long sleeve, long pants, just really soft and comfy. Um, and I got that for $2, I believe. It says three in here, but you do a little wheeling and dealing when you're at the garage sales. So all those little outfits, you know, I get, it makes me a little bit more excited, come home, change them into a new outfit, and just see how they look different, and it just makes it kind of more fun. So that would be another fun suggestion that I would think of. Um, and thirdly and lastly is I think it's okay to, um, you know, take a break sometimes from your um, reborns and silicones. Uh, one of Lynn's things was saying that, you know, she gets busy. She has two young kids uh, that keep her busy. And, you know, she is a family person, so she wants to spend family, family time with them. She also works and travels. Um, and, you know, there's things that she needs to do, I'm sure, in a night that doesn't always allow her to get in to spend time with her dolls. So, um, I think that's normal to have maybe sometimes where you, you, you know, your interest may be a little bit lower and, or you may not have enough time, you're busy and there's nothing wrong with that. So I think, you know, you just have to, um, allow yourself that time. And then when you do come back to your dolls, you know, and spend some time with them, I think it'll mean a lot more. It's kind of like that absence makes the heart grow fonder type of thing. You send your kids off to camp and all of a sudden you miss them so much and those little thing, annoying things that they usually do, you wish they were home doing them. But um, with reborns, you know, not seeing them for a while, maybe you're too busy, whatnots, or you just lost some interest for a while and then coming back into them um, may spark a little bit more interest. So just some ideas. I thought it was a good topic and I thought it was something to think about. Um, give me a comment below and tell me how long you've been collecting and whether you've gone through any ruts or any low spots, low interest times um, while you've been collecting, whether they be reborns or paradise galleries, silicones, um, whatever that you may be collecting other kinds of dolls or whatever um, just let me know what you've done in the past or what you're doing now when you kind of lose that spark so all right that's all that i wanted to talk to you all about tonight i hope you have a great evening and we will see you real soon and oh if i turn kelsey into a boy i'm gonna have to have a name so we'll have to think of that, and next time we come on, we will uh, share that with you. I'll have to think about that for a while. But for now, we're going to say goodbye. See you later. Please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for visiting. Bye-bye.